So here is another example of 0, 1 programming or binary variable programming. And in this example, we're going to look at selecting a product to make or not to make. So in this company, they have five different products, fabric products, that they can make. Okay. If they have to, if they select a particular product to make, like for example shirts, then they have to rent equipment to make that product. It will cost you fifteen hundred dollars. It's like a fixed cost. Then it will require per unit of shirt that you make two hours of labor and three square yards of cloth. And in a given week, there is a limited number of labor hours, so 4,000 hours of labor and 4,500 square yards of cloth is available. So we, the resources that we use must stay within the available resources. Now each unit of the product can be sold at this price and each unit variable cost is given by this. So we can look at the profit margin there. And of course, we want to select products to make and then determine how many units of each of the selected products that we need to make such that the profit is maximized and the labor hours needed and the cloth needed are within the available limits. So the selection part is where we will be using 0, 1 variables. So which product to select? Okay. So 0 if the product, if this one is not selected, 1 if it is selected. And if it is selected, then we have to also determine how many units that we have to produce of that product. So now let's go to Excel file and take a look at the data. So here is our input, labor hours needed and cloth needed for these five different products. So these are input, selling price, variable cost and fixed cost for equipment. So these are inputs as well and these are dollar amounts. So let me make it into dollar and remove the decimal places. Okay. Now here we have two variables. So here this will be it's not purchase equipment, it's rent equipment. So let's call it rent equipment. Okay. And this is zero or one. So let's call it zero or one. If it is zero, we will not rent. If it is one, then we will rent and make the product. And this is the number of units we're going to produce. Okay. Now the problem is, if you do not relate these two in some way, okay, you may have a zero here and a production quantity here. And that is not logical. If it is zero here, then the units pr units produced must also be zero. If it is one here, then only the quantity for units produced can be greater than zero. So we have to somehow come up with a logical limit and make sure that it stays within that logical limit, which is if this is zero, the logical limit should be zero. If it is one, then it should be a num large number so you can stay within the units produced. So one way of doing that is simply multiplying this with a large number. So for example, say 10,000 times that. So if this is 1, then this will be 10,000. If it is 0, this will be 0, then the units produced will be 0. Okay. If it is 1, then there is a, this value can be allowed to increase up to 10,000. Instead of using some arbitrary number like 10,000, which could sometimes be valid or not valid, so we can try to be a little more efficient about that. Okay? And for that, we're going to look at the two resources that are available, labor and cloth. Okay? If you take the labor and apply all of the labor hours that is available to just one product, 
and that is the maximum you can probably make okay if if that's the only product that you make okay so you can set that as your logical limit so i'm going to insert some three rows here so that we can set that up in a separate computation and then use it your textbook combines everything into one i want to separate them out so i'm going to insert three rows clear that okay maximum limit labor and we'll do maximum limit crop okay and let's give names here for labor hours so we'll define name labor available and this will be cloth available okay so suppose if we take the entire labor hours available and apply it all to shirts then the maximum you can produce with that labor is 2000 shirts but there is a limit on cloth also with cloth if all of the cloth is all allocated to shirts okay then that is the maximum number of shirts you can make with the cloth so the smaller of the two is what you can actually make so maximum limit is the minimum of the two okay. now we can copy this so that gives us the maximum limit for each of these products. So let's uh, format this a little bit. Okay, so like that. And it looks like I need another row to separate these. So let me insert one more row. Okay. Now the logical limit is you take the maximum limit and you multiply by the zero one variable so if you don't make if you don't rent the equipment then the logical upper limit is zero so you're not going to produce anything okay but if you do rent then you see the upper limit is increased from zero to 1500 then you're allowed to make that many shots okay okay let's give names here that so we do some product of units produced comma labor hours so this will give us the total labor hours that we would require and then some product of units produced with cloth required so that will give us the total cloth that will be needed or that will be used and that should be less than or equal to the available now revenue is how many units we're going to produce with the selling price so that will give us the revenue variable cost is again applied to the units produced with variable cost now fixed cost of equipment is some product of 
whether we will rent the equipment or not so it's not the units produced with that and the profit is revenue minus variable cost minus fixed cost so this is our objective function let's give names labor hours used available All right, so let's uh, do solver objective function is profit So objective function, we maximize. There are two sets of changing cells, okay, that and that. Now constraints, we want the resources used to be less than or equal to resources available. So that's one. And units produced must be less than or equal to the logic, logical upper limit. So, products will not be made unless the equipment is rented and we have the 0, 1 constraint which is whether we are going to rent an equipment or not should be binary. Now, non-negative, simplex LP, we go into options, make sure that this is unchecked and we will make that into 0. Click OK and now we have the answer. So we're going to produce shirts and jackets. But the problem is we have non-integer values for units produced. So if you want integer values here, you have to go back into solver and add one more constraint which is units produced is INT, integer. Now this is going to take a little longer to solve, well actually solve pretty fast. So here are the integer numbers. Okay, let me name this, I forgot to do that. So in solver you will have all names. 